Climate action is at the heart of current EU concerns, but that's not new. European countries started acting in the 70s. To reduce pollution, improve natural and urban environments, and promote awareness of ecological problems, the European Commission introduced the first environmental action programme. In 1987, the single European Act made protecting health, natural resources and the environment an EU goal. Next came the European Environment Agency in 1990. It informs people about and helps monitor environmental action in the EU. Environmental issues became a fully integrated EU policy area with the Maastricht Treaty in 1993. It also strengthened the European Parliament's role in developing environment policy. But this was not enough to tackle climate change. In 1999, the Amsterdam Treaty made sustainable development a key objective. It became obligatory to integrate environmental protection into all EU policies, like agriculture, transport or regional policy. So far, so good. But the rollout of EU environment policies was uneven across countries. So in 2001, Parliament adopted minimum standards for environmental inspections punishing serious offences like illegal emissions, wildlife trade or the dumping of waste. And in 2015, the Paris Agreement was signed and backed by the European Parliament. It aims to keep the rising global temperatures well below 2 degrees centigrade to try and limit the effects of climate change. Four years later, the European Parliament took an historic stand. And the resolution is adopted. L'Europe est le premier continent de ce monde à déclarer l'état d'urgence environnementale et climatique. The Commission responded, presenting the Green Deal, an ambitious roadmap to a climate neutral Europe. In 2020, the EU proposed a European climate law, setting in stone the goal to reduce greenhouse gases 55% by 2030. And the European climate law is indeed the cornerstone of the European Green Deal, as it enshrines into legislation the Union's objective to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 at the latest. 2021 to 2030, the eighth Environmental Action Programme will focus on accelerating the transition to climate neutrality, to clean and efficient energies and to a circular economy.